Hello, welcome to the Green TV Weekly Show. This week we have everything from Harry Panic to uh, some sad news about penguins. Okay, so over the last few weeks we've actually seen a lot of great different ways of producing renewable energy. And up in Scotland, they're going to start harnessing the power of the ocean dawn. In Pentland Firth, Maygen are currently constructing 269 pretty amazing underwater tidal turbines, producing enough electricity for 175,000 homes. Scotland are actually the leaders in ocean power production and we're awash with intrigue here into how successful this project's actually going to be. <laughs> Wave! Okay, up next, we're looking at rideables. Now, these things are looking like they're moving away, literally, from being novelty little toys to actually being quite a good, sustainable way to get about. Yeah, this is the epic inboard M1, and we really do think that it, it will take off. So here are the fat stats. Its top speed is 24 miles an hour. Range, 10 miles. It's also got electronic regenerative braking. I mean, it costs about $1,400 and you can pre-order it now from their website. It's great. Mm, come on then, let's go. Mm. You dump on my tiny bit. There's been a lot of panic this week from Australia and not all of it's hairy. You may have seen the, the tumbleweed that's taken over the small town in Victoria in Australia. And now this has been down to substantial rainfall followed by some really dry conditions leading to the vast amount of tumbleweed. Woo! And there's, there's an official quote there from the one. town saying it's, it's not funny anymore. They've had enough, it's not, it's not funny. But to be honest, maybe the thing that people should be panicking about is actually the Australian National Agency. The DOB has just announced cuts to observation and modelling of climate change and they're going to cut about 350 jobs. Yeah, in fact, he's likened the further surrounding uh, climate change to that of a religious debate. Now, essentially, Rob, what he's saying is that why do we put money into researching climate change? Why don't we put that money into actually acting on it? But it doesn't really work like that and a lot of the scientific community are up in arms. Yeah. Okay, Rob, I'm afraid we've got some really tragic news from Antarctica. Um, it, it's, it's time to talk about the penguins. Yeah, that's right. This is 150,000 of a population of 160,000 penguins in that area have actually unfortunately died uh, due to an enormous iceberg which has blocked their access to the sea. Yeah, so the iceberg itself is as big as Rome, so it's absolutely enormous. And it's meant that the penguins have to travel an extra 60 kilometers just to find food, which a lot of them don't make. It's really sad. Pretty good show, Rob. Pretty good show, yeah? Oh, pretty sad though, isn't it? Yeah, At it times. Was, yeah. yeah. It's, oh. It's the world. oh. So I see you noticed my friend. Yeah, so there's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a theme. Well, not really a theme, but there was, like, we chatted about the sea and then the really sad yeah. news about the penguins. So I thought you might want to meet my little friend here. Huh? Yeah. Have you recognised him? His name's Stephen. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Stephen Seagull. You recognise him? He's quite famous, Rob. Maybe. Yeah? You might what? have seen him in some films. Yeah, he likes you. He likes you. Yeah. <laughs> so that was Rob. That's who I was talking to you about. Yeah, he's nice, isn't he? I don't like him. Get me out of here. Where's my gun? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he says a lot. It's what he's known for. So, Stephen. Oh. So, I mean, if you like the show, then uh, please do subscribe. Click on Stephen. And if you missed last week's show, then please click here. Look at the glorious time we had. Stephen, don't, don't poo, is he pooing? Is he pooing? Is he pooing? Um, no, I'm, I'm not okay. Oh, it feels warm. Oh, it feels warm, Rob. Just, just don't touch it. It'll get stuck and matted. Oh no, I can feel it dribbling down my hair.